Holy Land USA may become the Mecca that it used to be. Hmm, that's because Waterbury's mayor is stepping in to save the landmark property. News 8's Stephanie Simone joins us live from News 8 Control with the latest on this. Stephanie. And Keith, just to be absolutely clear, the city is not behind this. The mayor is doing this privately with a local business owner, and they're hoping others will join in the movement. They want to draw the thousands that it used to draw nearly 40 years ago. It's called Holy Land, but over the last two decades, it's clear no one has treated it that way. A headless Jesus stands behind the gated, rusting entrance. Weeds are sprouting from the once perfectly paved roads. And I remember it, but we didn't know the value of it at that time until we got older. Her memories are from the 60s, when they estimated 40,000 were drawn here each year. Every Sunday we used to come, it was pretty full up here. It was really nice. Years haven't been kind to this miniature model of Jerusalem. You can see it's overgrown. It's difficult to make out what these buildings were intended to be. And the mayor says it's going to take a lot of money to clean all this up. Did you ever think you'd own Holy Land? No. No, I didn't think I'd own Holy Land until about six weeks ago. Originally, the asking price was $750,000 a couple of years ago, but Mayor Neil O'Leary and local car dealership owner Fritz Blasius purchased the neglected 20 acres for a price tag of $350,000. They're asking for community help, too, starting a nonprofit to spruce up the site. We were worried uh, that we didn't want to lose that identity for the city. And I think it's a good thing for all Christian groups to come together and um, be, have a place where they can go worship. Neighbors say no one comes here to worship anymore. In 2010, a woman was raped and murdered here, and residents say it's become a hangout for criminals. A lot of um, people that get there, you know, for do, you know, things that is like drugs and everything. Yeah. For me, it's a relief. Relief with just the idea and a little faith. Holy Land will once again live up to its name. I think it would teach a lot of younger kids um, a little bit more about religion. The mayor says they're closing on the property September 1st. A nonprofit will be formed by then, and they're also asking for volunteers to help clear up the property. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Stephanie Simone. Stephanie, thank you. Probably safe to assume many people in Waterbury will be happy to see Holy Land revived. It rests on 20 acres and has been closed to the public since back in 1984. It used to be a Bible-based theme park consisting of a chapel and replicas of Israelite villages.